Joe Montano, Coalition for Economic Survival. We support effective action to confront and combat our affordable housing crisis. A comprehensive housing analysis and regional meetings are good, but they will only confirm what we all know. Tenants are barely able to make ends meet, most of the income is going to rent, and more people are being displaced via the Ellis Act. Forced to move, people can no longer find units affordable to them in their own neighborhood. Updating the 2009 rent study is okay, but it will only tell us what the situation has gone much worse. Yet the recommendations made then are as valid today. The lack of action on those recommendations has greatly contributed to the rent burden crisis we face today. Eliminating the 3% rent floor and the 1% utility increase are still needed to address the rent burden. We need to tighten the screws on the Ellis Act evictions. Action is needed much more than more hearings and studies. The RSO goal of balance is severely broken. Alley renters face more burden and less balance. We need to fix this or things will continue to get worse. Thank you. It's been said that the moral test of a society is how it treats those who are at the dawn of life, the twilight of life, the aged, those who are in the shadows of life, the sick, the needy, and the handicapped. And so that is the challenge that is before us. There is little that we can do about many of the problems that were discussed this morning, but there is much that can be done about the challenges that confront us today in this city with respect to affordability. We have an affordability crisis, and we should not allow that crisis to seep into a homeless crisis. We must do all that we can to preserve affordability, and we must do all that we can to build affordability. Those two are interrelated. They are part and parcel of the same effort and the same movement to make sure that each and every Angelino has a place to live, deserves a place to live, and that we do all that we can to ensure that that is available. It's time for us to move forward. I think the speakers have been quite articulate. They have made the point very clear. Enough of conversations, enough of meetings, uh, let's move forward and take action this morning. Let's move forward and take this movement out to the community so that we hear from the people of Los Angeles. And let's do all that we can that this city becomes a city that's driven by the people of Los Angeles, their needs, their hopes, and their desires. Members, I ask you for a yes vote on this proposal, that we do all that we can to house LA. I thank those who have joined us this morning. It is their leadership that we need to follow. I ask for an I vote. I thank you. Thank you, Mr. Cedillo. That concludes members on the queue. Let's open the row, close the row.